Okay, so we've amended all my husband's re requirements on the picture. Um, so now I'm just gonna have a look at it and just see what I can see that needs kind of touching up or, or anything really. I always do this at the end of a picture. So I'll just put my other glasses on, I think. What I do is I just spend a bit of time looking at it and then I'll just see things that I think, oh, yeah, that needs doing. I did just make a start on this. And I thought, oh, I better get the video going because I was getting a bit carried away. And, <clears throat> and I could see bits that like this in there, you know, little dark bits there that I may have put in at one point and they've, they've got lost again. And in here, there's some dark, really dark blue. This is very dark blue. Just little, little touches. And I put a bit of um, black on the edge here, gray, gray and black, just to darken it off a bit there, just there. Um, what else did I do? I put some more black in here. See, just things like that, I can see. When you look at the picture and then you look at this, you think, oh, that's not black enough. That needs to be blacker. So just put it in. Anything that you can see, you think, oh, it's not quite right. And then um, we'll just redo that whisker there. I'm going to get this glassy ready, I think. Probably should wipe it first. Because in my picture they're blue, so that's what I'm doing with blue. This is a bit blue here. Uh, and then this, that could be a bit darker there. And there are little blue hairs coming up. This blue next to the black, blacky blue. I like that very much. And that goes up there like that. And I think I've noticed that this has got too thin here when I when I put the black on. I lost a bit of the, the thickness there. I'll just put that back in. I did put some extra bits of blue here, just there, and maybe just a little bit here. Yeah, that's looking a bit blue there. Yeah. A bit of 
needs to be blacker here. It's just got to be untidy, the edge. It's quite a hard line there. And a little bit bigger there. and black. A couple of black streaks in there. And yes, I did notice that this this line is kind of coming through here. Lost under that whiskery uh, whisker there, but it's quite a nice little line that get that back in again. And we've got the lines coming through here. That isn't so sharp. This bit here, it's kind of softer there, so you can leave that. Get a sharper line there. We'll just get our nice. I've sharpened up all my pencils ready. Oops, that goes there. Just go up over it on the inside. Just very gently. It sharpens it up a bit there. Yeah, oh, it's a shame it was the blue because the blue is very soft compared to all the others. And when you drop a pencil, you can break the lead. So that isn't good, you know, you can lose a lot of your pencil that way if then you go to sharpen up and it, it uh, breaks off, keeps breaking. But I don't know, sometimes you're going to drop pencils.
bits of colour that we've already put in there because they're looking quite nice. But just things like this, this little line here, of hairs that are coming through here, we just put those back in. Just soften it up a bit. Because it's all going to get softer because it's going back. And we can fluff these in a bit more. This is looking a little bit too light here. See, it's nice and blue there. I've got that blue in there. But this, this little line coming across here, that can be emphasised a bit because that's quite nice. And we need to put some darker hairs in here. Just, you know, make it look a bit darker. And this. Neatening, neatening up now again. That's a really thin line there. Very light touch on there. Then we'll get our green back again in there. Make that line really thin. It's a lot thicker here, but it is rounded. If you look at the inside of his eye, there's a roundness to it. It's not straight, like I had it just there. It is round. Yeah, it's better. It's opened his eye up a bit. And then we've got some bits of black through here. blue line in here that has just disappeared there. So we'll put the, I think we'll put the black on first. There, just put the blue over it. There, so we'll just let a bit of the black come on through there. Now these little tiny little bits will make it look really, really good. You know, they're not fussy, they're just done very quickly and it gives it, it'll keep a, a nice freshness to the picture. That's looking not quite right there. That needs to be a bit rounder, I think. Just examine that angle there, so slightly like that. It's just a hair's breadth. And you'll find with all these things, it's just a matter of a hair or a pencil line that will bring, make the animal look like the one you're trying to draw. Those little things. And little tiny dark black bits like this. That is actually a little bit high there. That one that needs to come down there. That needs to come down there. And then we've got lines 
coming all through here actually. There's a brighter blue here that I'd like to try and get in. I've already put the dark blue on so I'm just going to try and brighten it up a bit because it's definitely blue in my picture and I quite like that. Put the, the light blue on then we'll get some more dark blue on it. And uh, there are flecks of um, not white but yellow in it. Just break it up a bit and then do the edge of his nose again because that's quite dark that bit there. It's very dark. But it's not a hard line. Just use the black here. It's very, very light. Put the black spot there. Just cut it back. Some lines coming through here. Okay, now let's look at this side. We did quite a bit on this the other day, didn't we? That's 
that needs to be darker there. So it's too thick. You can see that's too thick. See what difference that's just that one little bit there makes. You ever see it's just amazing that difference you can make with just a tiny little bits. Because you're looking at the cat, you're looking at your picture very carefully. Um, you, you won't miss those little bits. But if you don't really, really look at it, you will miss those little bits that make a lot of difference. Some little white flecks in the ends here. This is all looking a bit hard in here. Just soften that down. A bit softer in there. But the yellow hair is coming longer, so I'll put those in. Hair is coming in a bit longer. do is try and move back a bit and then just just really look at it from a distance so it's a little bit bright there. Probably a bit harsh looking this. It needs to be a bit softer. And then we've lost a bit of the grey lines in there so a bit grey. And I'll put those back in. So I'm doing tiny little lines down and these kind of going along and that's a bit darker. back again. That needs to be a bit fuller there. And we've got another black line coming this way through there. So to try and make that colour, we'll just see what the 
orangey dust over the black line there. I did notice that we need some more blue in. Just getting a bit of a handful here. I'll put those down for a minute. Need some nice blues in here. Not too much, just just to bring it out a bit. Just to get that colour going. line here looks quite, these little darker lines coming through here are quite nice. just like to make them a bit more, make them look a bit more three-dimensional. So we will use grey, I think. Grey, but very, very gently. See, that is just really gentle. And we'll put yellow, I think yellow over this, I'll mix with it. It's a bit thicker that line there. And it's coming through, isn't it? Coming through. And then we've got this. It's coming a bit further over. But very, very straight one 